Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I am doing a tag video today. I was tagged by a YouTuber. Her channel name is Connie Wilson. I will put her channel link down below. Thank you, Connie, for tagging me in this video. This is the five questions tag, and I've seen it all over YouTube lately, so I figured I got tagged, so I would do the video for you guys. So I'm just gonna jump right in. There's five questions, obviously. Uh, the first question is, who are three YouTubers that inspire you the most? Um, I have a lot of people in both on YouTube and in real life that inspire me, um, but I kind of thought about when I heard the questions, kind of the answers that came to my head the quickest. So I feel like that's how I'm going to answer all these. So three of the many YouTubers and people that inspire me the most. Um, I have to say one of them is Michelle Pearson. She used to be I'm a Mommy. I watched, uh, she was one of the first uh, mommy vloggers that I started watching way back about six years ago when I was pregnant with Grady and Back then she had one child now. She has five to five kids um, And her son will is just a little bit older than Grady So I have to say her because I really admire how she raises five children obviously um, and has a great life and makes time to exercise and do YouTube and just juggle all of these different things um, and still have fun and go on date nights with her husband. She just is really good at juggling um, that kind of family life and I admire her for that. Um, I have to say another person that really inspires me on YouTube is one of my friends, Brittany from Brittany and Baby. I have also been watching her for a long time. I started watching her when Aria was a baby baby. And Aria, her daughter, is now Grady's age, five. And I am so honored and happy that she is one of my real life friends. Uh, we actually live close to each other. And um, it's just been really great to be able to build a friendship with her. Um, I admire her because for her age, she is just 24 with three kids. She just is a great mom. She's just a great person as far as how humble she is, how kind she is. She's just a really genuine person, and she's very much like what you see is what you get, that kind of thing, and I really love that about her. She inspires me, especially because when I think back to when I was 24, uh, I, was, I was a disaster. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no life skills. I had... I kind of had to learn them all as I got older, um, but for her age, just 24, she is just so mature, so with it, so just... I just think she's just a really inspiring person. Uh, she inspires me all the time. And again, I've been watching her channel for so long and it's crazy now that she is one of my real life friends because I never in a million years would have thought that would ever happen. But I have to say her. And then my third uh, person, again, these are in no order, just another person that popped in my mind is Hillary from my so-called home. I stumbled upon her, upon her channel a while ago. I want to say two to three years ago. Um, and what I like about Hillary is she is definitely what you would call like a minimalist. She does like a capsule wardrobe. She does a lot of thrifting. She cooks a lot of things and bakes a lot of things from scratch. She's a minimalist as far as not liking clutter and um, kind of just getting rid of things or you know repurposing things. Um, she her videos really humble me um, a lot because an example I can give you is she had a beautiful home and they sold their home recently and moved into a new home. Um, the new home is a fixer upper like a work in progress and they're doing a lot of work on it. And one thing I noticed is when they move from their old home to their to their new home, um, I don't believe they've really bought anything new. Um, I believe I could be correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that. They kept, you know, their same furniture from their previous home. Um, the kitchen that they have, for example, um, they didn't like buy, you know, all new appliances. I, I just, she's very minimalistic and it humbles me and kind of makes me realize that sometimes in society we get caught up in shiny new things and Hillary brings me back down to earth and makes me realize that you can still live great and be ha just as happy with what you already have. I don't know, it's hard to explain the concept, but I have to say Michelle Pearson, Brittany, and Hillary from my so-called home. Uh, question number two, because I don't want this to be super long, um, is what three things are you good at? So the number one thing that came into my mind is public speaking. Um, I've always been not shy to get up and speak in front of a group of people. Um, I think that I am fairly good at collecting my thoughts and kind of 
you know, having my eye on the prize and knowing what I need to talk about and getting my point across. Um, and I've been told many times I should do public speaking or motivational speaking. Uh, it's just something I'm good at. I, I don't know where it came from, but I'm, I've always been good at public speaking and comfortable with doing it. Um, the number two thing I think I'm good at is making, I have this ability to make people feel comfortable, to make people feel um, special, to make people feel relaxed, um, often even people who are shy, reserved, introvert type of people. I just have this way, I don't know how or why, I don't try to, I guess I just have a way to uh, bring people out of their shell and make people again feel comfortable, feel relaxed, feel important, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know, maybe it's something I got from my parents, but I know that it's something that's been like a common theme that I've been told over and over throughout the years. Um, and the third thing I would say I'm good at is following through. And what I mean by that is I'm the type of person where normally, not always because I'm not perfect and life happens, if I say I'm going to do something or I set a goal for myself or I you know, tell a friend I'm gonna help them or whatever the case is, I'm pretty good at just following through on things that I say I'm gonna do or things that I tell myself I need to do. Uh, it's been a strength of mine in my adult life following through in general with just doing things that I need to be doing, that I say I'm going to do, that kind of thing. Um, the next question, number three, is what are three things you are currently excited about? First and foremost, fall and the holiday season. Once it hits September, and some of you guys know this, I get really excited to decorate for fall and decorate for Halloween. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. I love Christmas. I just love that whole season from like September to, you know, New Year's. So I'm really excited for fall and for the holidays. The second thing I'm really excited about currently is getting a tattoo. Lately, I have just been wanting to get a tattoo and maybe that will turn into another tattoo. I do have a tattoo already, but I wanna get another tattoo maybe like in this area of like my shoulder. I don't know what you would even call this area, but like my shoulder, bone, upper chest area, um, that's kind of, what I'm aiming for right now and um, I'm hoping and planning to get a tattoo soon within the next you know month or so um, and then the third thing I'm currently excited about is uh, my husband Matt and I uh, his one of his childhood friends Justin who they have been friends since five years old over 30 years uh, Justin has become a very very close friend of me naturally because uh, Matt and I have been together for 13 years so I've known Justin 13 years and him and I are very close he comes to visit us once a year but this year he's coming for longer he's coming for I believe just over two weeks which is going to be officially the longest that anyone has ever visited us I think ever whether it was here or you know in our New York house uh, just over two weeks he'll be here he'll be here for Halloween for Grady's birthday party Grady's birthday um, so I'm just so excited because he's literally like a brother to me and we're, we just love having him around. He's just so fun and Grady loves him. We love him. So we're very excited for that next month. Question four, what do you do to relax? I would say I, um, I really enjoy, as weird as it might sound, going out on my own, getting like a nice coffee or a hot coffee and doing some shopping, even if it's just window shopping. There are times when I grab a coffee, grab an iced coffee, whatever I'm in the mood for, and I go out shopping, browsing, with the sole intention of not buying anything, just window shopping, whether it's getting inspiration for maybe decorating my home or looking at new clothes that are out to see maybe uh, what I'm interested in as far as clothing and what I need, just kind of window shopping, or obviously shopping in general and where you actually buy stuff is good too. Um, that relaxes me. I also love to hang out with my friends, um, even if it's just at home, hanging out on the couch, uh, eating, drinking, talking, just whatever. I love hanging out with my friends in general. Again, whether that's home or out, just my friends really relax me and having that time with my girlfriends um, is really healthy and good for me. Um, and then question five is, can you tag five other YouTubers to do this tag video? So. I'm gonna tag my friend Megan from Say Hello Co. Absolutely love her. Um, her and I kind of met a couple years ago through Instagram and sort of became, you know, online friends and we collabed together last month. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Megan from Say Hello Co. 
Um, my friend Samantha from Mama approved her and I collabed recently too. Um, again, I will link all these, uh, all five of these channels down below. I'm going to tag Brittany from Brittany and Baby. I'm going to tag Vanessa from 2011 Teenage Mom, who I actually met through Brittany. They're very good friends that have been for many years. And then I'm also going to tag my friend Kira, who actually lives right down the street from me from Fifty Shades of Mom. So I will link all five of their channels down below. I will also link Connie's channel down below, who is the person that tagged me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.